Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. Start of the day off. We are getting the shop figured out. Finally, we got the tin done, the lofts done, and all my stuff right here. We got to find homes for it. So we are going to start. Actually, we're going to start with the bathroom. We got to get that framed up so the plumbers can come back and get it all kind of roughed in. So we're actually putting a bathroom in the back corner. We figured that would be kind of a nice thing. Plus, we wanted a sink for catch and cook. So I was like, if you're going to do the plumbing for the sink, you might as well do plumbing for in bathroom sink, and you might as well do plumbing for a toilet, and you might as well do plumbing for a washer and dryer, and then you. You know it just that's usually how builds go you yeah. just you just don't ever stop adding so we're gonna put a bathroom back here so you can see the plumbing's already situated so we're gonna have the outside sink toilet inside sink washer dryer and then a tankless water heater hopefully so we're gonna frame that in today and then once that's framed in we're gonna start trying to get this figure out because i don't know where anything is every time we're like oh Let's go turkey hunting. You know where the turkey stuff is? No. Okay, me neither. So we got to try finding the turkey stuff today as well as a bunch of other stuff. All of this. We're not going to get it. Well, actually in today's episode, yeah, we will get it all done. Today though, we're probably not going to get it all done. The other thing that we have to kind of situate here would be all the tools. And we are waiting on the, the lever rack should be here soon, which are the sliding door racks. They're revolutionary, by the way. Um, we're going to get a bunch of new ones so that we can set up the workshop and really every part of this shop correctly. But this is where we're going to plan on putting some of the tools we might actually slide these benches down and put that thing right i'm not really sure what we want to do but anyways our tools are all right here and they're kind of organized but we got to like lay them out a little better all the tools are at least in one place but we need to go through and and get them all situated so these are all the tools and then we've got the lawn care stuff kind of back here and we need to get some stuff to kind of like hang those up and then all the hardware stuff which is going to go in a lever rack it's a lot there's a lot of stuff i mean like what like what's in here anything good shoes you got to find a place for those you got these some straps of some sort. We, we got any, what's going on there? Who's using this with the big Red Bull right there? They wanted to do that really fast, I guess. There's the whipping stick we were looking for. Really? Look, look out. I mean, we've got hella sprinklers. You guys need sprinklers? It looks like I own a sprinkler company with all these. But yeah, my grass is always dead. It makes no sense to me. So we got to find, you know, two grills. We got heater. I think that's a fire pit of some sort. Fertilite. I mean, there's stuff everywhere. We've got workbenches right here. We've got incubators. We got air conditioners. I mean, yeah, you, you you name something, probably got, we got traps, we got pond pumps, we got clay targets, we've got ice fishing tip-ups. Is this for your bedroom? Really? Is that a lasso? When do we buy a lasso? I need to learn how to do that. We got a microwave, okay, we got pigeon traps, I mean... There's, there's a lot of a lot of things in here and everything needs to be organized because there, everything's got a time and a place even you know an old farm sink with some sheds on it it's that's actually a pretty nice shed it is a nice one. you know it's all got a time and place a marsh pole push pole that's a gilly Blind. something of some sort in case banjo wants to go sledding and then your classic coot decoy emergency coot decoy that's always ne necessary uh you know ice fishing augers paint a full-size bed motocross ramps i mean <laughs> you know you got to get this stuff organized always be like man where's that motocross ramp ah, I'm fresh out i don't know where that sucker went so we got to get organized by the end of today's episode this will look a lot better uh and then we've got the loft up there where we've got all the shelves and the racks which we need to take more up there and then we like so we got to get the lever racks put in it's going to be it might be a multiple day or deal but by the end of today's video the shop will be complete and you guys said you wanted to see all this and see us organize it all put it together and officially complete the dream shop so that being said let's get to frame
Okay, bathroom is framed. I did none of the work. Uh, we were trying to figure out where we're putting everything, but for now, this is what the framing looks like. About as the sturdiest, is, is seconds as a tornado shelter. This is Banjo's safe room. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, two by six framing, and then this attached to posts. I mean, that's probably the sturdiest Can't bathroom I've ever built, seen. For sure. Yeah. I mean, she's she ain't moving. So, Pop Beef Cake and Jake got that built while Banjo, myself, and Cade went and got some of the shelving put up and together. So that way we can keep on moving uh, and get some of the stuff off the floor. So, up in the loft, we were able to get several racks in here. I did talk to the lev rack guy, and we're going to be meeting up with them later uh, in this video. And they're going to outfit us with all the actual cool racking. This is all leftover racking that we're just putting a bunch of totes on for right now. So, you'll see that. Uh, but we got racking throughout here and so this is where we're gonna be putting kind of just the extra stuff but for right now I plan to put most of the stuff on here that way we can get it off the floor and actually get in here we also have to get uh, the lights put in there they have to have a lift so we got to get that done but so we already kind of started we got some ice eaters propane tanks a bunch of heaters for deer season so we left out the bottom so you could slide big stuff in like that put two racks in same thing here and then same thing right here and then down here, we took one of our old workbenches from the old gun room because there's an outlet right here. So this could be a potential charging station if there's stuff up here you know, during hunting season. And then we put three of these back to back to back. And so these are gonna be basically for all the totes. But that's not all. We're planning on having this same exact layout where we have all these racks, but where they're gonna run down here. So you'll have a hallway in the middle. You'll have racks here, you'll have racks there, hopefully. We don't film up. If I do, I have way too much stuff. And then like I said, the entire below the uh, loft is gonna be all lab racks as well. Like I said, well, Bobby Kick and Jake were making the bathroom. We kind of laid everything out. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown where everything's going, at least for now. We might change our mind, but this right here is gonna be sink and prep station for cleaning the game. We're gonna have a freezer and a refrigerator. So you have like an L shape. Okay, then you're gonna have a lev rack here, and that's gonna be all the hunting and fishing stuff. Then you're gonna have another lev rack, like the pallet rack here. That's gonna be the hunting and fishing stuff that's kind of bigger on totes. And then over here, you're gonna have another lev rack, and that's gonna be for whatever else we wanna put on there. We ain't quite figured that part out yet. And then down here, you're gonna have another little pallet rack as well for just miscellaneous. The one thing we came up with, we drew up uh, while they were building the bathroom was here, we thought, what if we walled this off and then walled this off? So you've got like a 20 foot section and that's where we can put all the rods. So you take all the rods in the corner and you put them right there. And then you have all the Guggen baits on that wall. So they're easy access. And then you basically you would walk in through here. This would be open and you would, you can potentially put stuff on this wall. And like I said, this wall will be completely lever racked out. Possibilities are endless. The reason why I built the shop as big as I possibly could. Uh, and then here we're going to take one of our, our shelves, shelf over there. We're gonna put it here. We're gonna take this fuel tank, put it over there, take these fuel cans, put it on the shelf. And then over here is gonna be, like I said, the fuel tank. And then we've got the air compressor as well. And that's gonna go right here. And we're talking about potentially building a little custom shelf for all the fittings for the, uh, the air compressor, all the little chucks and stuff like that. Here, we're gonna leave open because there's gonna be a hose bib. So nothing here. We're gonna take these workbenches. We're gonna slide them down here and we're gonna put a lever rack here. And that's gonna have all the nuts and the bolts, all the stuff for building is gonna be here. Right here, we're gonna make an Amazon box drop zone. So you know you have a problem. You need designated area for your Amazon boxes. So right here, we're gonna build a shelf for Amazon boxes. So you walk in the door, bam, you put them on here. Right behind that, you're gonna have another lev rack and that's gonna be all the automotive, the grease, the oils, the fuel, not like the fuel fuel, but like chainsaw fuel and you know, tire slime, stuff like that. That's gonna go here and then below this is where the zero turn's gonna go. And then over here, that's where all your rakes, leaf blowers, chainsaws, we're gonna hang them all up. Okay, ah, look out. On this wall, we're gonna take these ladders and we're gonna put the ladders up right there. And then we're gonna fill this area with a bunch of the toys that are outside. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. So anyways, that is the plan. First thing we gotta do though, we gotta get this floor cleaned up. I want all this stuff out of here. So let's take her up in the loft. <laughs>
how full that loft is. Man, did that just, every little thing I have fit right? It don't look like we did nothing. I got so much, this, I, I built the shop as big as I could, okay? Big as I possibly could. And it still isn't enough. Well, it might be enough. We just need to, I think we just need to be more efficient. But these guys are going to move that shelf over there. We're going to get to building some more shelves. But let me just, let me show you. Let me give you a little gander of what we got dangling up in here. Okay, now granted, we only have one row of shelves and we're going to have two. But it's full. That is full. Like there's just stuff on the ground right here. All those are full. And then look, it's still full. This is crazy. So they're going to move that shelf. They're going to put it over there. That's where we're going to put fuel and that's where also chains binders ratchets tie downs pins anything for hauling trailers uh tow ropes anything like that it's quick easy access is going to go right over there as well as fuel cans and then on the other side we're going to do the uh air compressor right over there and the big fuel gut, uh, jug and then we're going to take that black shelf and put it next to that door and that's going to be kind of the staging area for amp, new Amazon packages. Not just that, but that's kind of what we're thinking. Um, maybe some, anything that's easy, gets easy to load, unload quick, easy access, maybe work gloves, stuff like that could potentially go over there. But yeah, that whole loft, at least one, half of it is full and there's still all this. Again, now granted, some of the stuff is big. We still, it, it don't, keep in mind, this is all gonna be racks, okay? And there's gonna be a second row of racks and there's supposed to be racks over there. So I mean, I, we're gonna be, we are gonna be fine. But man, did it blow my mind when we filled that loft and I looked down at this. It's pretty crazy to me. So, you, get too much stuff. you think so? Yeah. So, we're gonna get this thing moved over. Like I said, fuel, chains, binders, ratchets, tie downs, and then this big fuel jug is gonna go over there next to the air compressor. So that's all ready to go and we'll probably build a little custom shelf for fittings and you know, funnels, anything like that. And like I said, then we got the Amazon rack that's going over there. Stay tuned. Look at that, we got fuel, ratchets, chains, binders. We also thought the jumper packs and some uh, jack stands would be good and then some batteries that we'll put on the trickle charger. So that way, anything you need, and you got the fuel right here. So we actually put the fuel over there and then on this rack, minus this bed right here, we've got the power wheel, which we'll mount up there. There's some lighters, missile. Basically, this is pretty empty, which is good. We, we, you'll always fill it. You just need the space for it. If you don't have a place to put your stuff, your stuff will end up everywhere and you won't be organized. And then all the air compressor stuff right here. So this actually fit really well. And then our little Amazon drop, drop zone, we figured two to three shelves is probably sufficient. I don't get that many packages. So we ended up putting some of the easily accessible stuff, warm gloves, work gloves, rubber gloves. You think, why do I have so many gloves? Well, we got all these guys running around that need freaking gloves. So uh, just easy, quick stuff. You walk in, grab your gloves, go. Like I said, if I get Amazon packages, we can set them in here so they're out of the elements. And they're they're done. So that's one full day of organizing the shop, by the way, in case you guys were curious what it takes. So that's what she looks like still. Uh, you'll see tomorrow. We're going to hopefully come back. We still got work to do on the bathroom. We still have the lever racks to put in and a bunch of other stuff. But at the end of this video, this shop will be nice and clean. So you guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, so next day, folks, and bam, we finally got some lev racks. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. We got the lev racks here. This entire duct tray is filled, plus the back of the dually has another one. So this isn't even all of them. This is all we could fit in one load. So we got the lev rack here. The entire duct trailer is filled. This is going to be two lev racks and then one of their, like, pallet rack shelves. Uh, and then we would still have, like, another at least two more lev racks, the smaller eight-footers. These are 12. And then we're talking putting some more racks up top. But it is the next day. It is time to get these builds. These are going to be the ones that hold the good stuff, the hunting, the fishing, all the camping stuff, stuff like that. Under the loft is where these ones are going to go. Plus, they give us these old tables that are kind of cool little workstations. So we're going to go ahead and put one lev rack here, the pallet rack here, the other lev rack here, and then basically fishing and hunting. This could be like bigger bins of fishing and hunting. And then we don't really know what we want to put in this one yet. If we want to put some lawn and garden stuff there, if you want to do some auto mechanic stuff here, we have yet to really decide what's going in them because we don't know how much 
space the fishing hunting stuff is gonna take up in them because we've actually never put fishing and hunting stuff in the lever rack. Before it was just like nuts and bolts and fuel. This is where we're gonna make it completely custom. So huge shout out to lever rack for help hooking us up again on the new shop. They hooked us up on the first shop and they're absolutely game changing. So if any of you guys have a garage or a shop and you wanna have superior organization to make all your neighbors jealous, I highly suggest lab rack. They're freaking amazing. So we're gonna get the duck trailer unloaded, get everything set up and get them filled with all the goods. You gotta stay tuned. We got all the shelves put in there, ready to stack. And we actually designed one of them right here for my bow. So you open this sucker up. See, my bow can hang right here. So it's gonna be like dedicated areas uh, for very specific gear. What's going on? And we made this one with extra shelves. Oh yeah, that one has extra for all the ammunition. So we have like skinny shelves, big shelves, all that stuff in there. Is there anything? No, there's nothing really in there. What's going on? Oh, oh shit. Things are nice. Come in the closet or no? No. Oh, okay. And then we got one right here. So we got plenty of them. Four feet deep, 18 inches wide, completely stacked. So we ended up just putting all the shelves kind of equal except for down there. So we have bows. We'll end up uh, adjusting it and we'll keep you guys, you know, updated as we fill them. But anyways, I want to give you guys a quick update. The lever racks are built. Now it is time to completely fill them with all the hunting and fishing gear. Stay tuned. Shoo! That's right. You're staring at it. We have electricity, finally. It took longer to get electricity in this son of a gun than it took to build my house. Okay, not really, but close. So, fast forward uh, several, multiple, lot, many weeks, okay, and now we are here, and we are here to finish everything. I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to keep working on it until we have everything. And so we have two, we were waiting on two more lever racks, and they are supposed to be here within the next like 30 to 45 minutes, uh, and then we are going to be done. Like, the shop should be completely done. So, everything you see here is all going to get all, like, I don't want any of this here anymore. We got to find a home for it. Same thing goes over there and over there, and so the two lever racks we've been waiting on were the two eight-footers for all the hardware stuff, basically any screws bolts nuts wire stuff like that and then the other one would have been for like oils fuel cleaning supplies everything we had at the old house we had two lever racks and so we're basically just going to copy and paste those. so everything that was in the harbor like you're talking spray paint cock anything that you could think of remodeling a home wise is over there and then like i said this one over here this has your oils your fertilizers your seed i mean we literally had just have bins of oil more oil wasp spray and weed killer and that stuff you can see it's a bare area so we're gonna put one there and we're gonna put one there and that's what we've been waiting on and then we have to get some type of racking for like all these hand tools need to go up there so all this here and all this here and all that here is gonna get hung up. And then the hunting and the fishing stuff, the stuff that you guys care about, is all gonna go on the lever you saw us put out earlier. So we've got these and they're already somewhat somewhat laid out, not perfect. We're probably gonna change our mind multiple times, but for right now, we are thinking this this right here is gonna be catch and cook. So any of your knives, your cookers, your oils, your propane. Oh, oh yeah, we, we need a place for heaters at some point come deer season. You're gonna have your heaters down here. Uh, and then archery. 
is going to go here. So we've got this open so we can hang bows. We probably aren't going to be able to hang them today because I don't think I have the right thing. And then deer would go here. So this would be like your scent elimination, your scent attractant, your trail cameras, anything like that would go here. And then over here would be ammunition. So you've got all your ammo. We've got a whole bunch of it sitting up there right now. But all your ammo, your shotgun, your, your rifle, your handgun, bam. And then waterfowl would be your, not your decoys, but you know, your spinners, your calls, your blind bags. We need a spot for waders still, stuff like that. Then you've got this open open area here. And this is where we have big trash cans filled with Guggen bait for a peg wall. We haven't decided yet where we want the peg wall. We, we got to figure out where everything else is going to go and then maybe we'll make another video with the peg wall build. Uh, we're thinking maybe build in between one of these posts. We're not entirely sure. And then over here fishing, it's just going to be like crappie, bluegill, bass through here. Then you have your catfish. So you're going to have your bank lines, your jugs, your rod and reel stuff, all your heavy weights. Bingo. This thing is, oh, it's empty. There's nothing on it right now. So we don't know what's going to go in here. We'll just have to see how much space we have. And then trapping, we probably won't fill up more than one shelf here with trapping stuff. But tentatively, we're going to take some of the trapping stuff and put it in here. And then animals. So this could be fly traps for the animals, egg carriers for the animals. You've got some, some brome hay. You've got some animal fluff. Like any type of thing that you, recurring things that you need. Uh, uh, to, to give the animals what they need could go in here and now you might be thinking well, why don't you just go put that down by the animals we have to get a, a basically a building for that now you know some type of tough shed of some sort we haven't gotten that far yet this would just be like quick easy access hey i'm out of fly spray put the jugs of fly spray in here anything the animals need all the time then you've got your rods and for right now they're probably going to stay here because again we have yet to decide how we're going to do the peg wall and the bait wall those that those are the same thing the peg wall and the rod wall are going to be the same could we use this Maybe, you know, could we put pegs here? It, but I, we have a lot of bait, so we, we need some space. We probably need, I would say like at least, well, I mean, at, at the last house, we had two four by eight sheets of pegboard and they were full. So we might need more space than that. So again, there's gonna be multiple phases to this, but we wanted to get the majority of it done. And then the bathroom, as you can see, we got it all framed up earlier in the video and then all the plumbing got done. Uh, we're not gonna be finishing that in today's video. We're just gonna be focusing on getting the hunting and fishing stuff cleaned up and done, but you can see, what we got going on here so you got enough for a sink out here a sink in there a toilet in there and then we're gonna have a little stacking washing washer and dryer in there as well come deer season it will be nice to be able just to like throw your dirty clothes in there wash them with like scent free detergent and then you'll be ready to go and then when you need to go hunting you grab your bow you grab your scent stuff you grab your ammo you grab your waterfowl stuff and you go everything is super consolidated so that's the plan right now we're gonna take all this stuff and get it in the shelves, nice and neat. Hopefully we can do that before the Leverack boys are here. They're bringing the last two shelves. They're gonna bring those. We're gonna put those together and get everything else. And by the end of today, the shop should be complete. You guys stay tuned. Leverag is here. They've got their new van here loading up, unloading two of them. I want to give you this update. We got ammo here. So you open this sucker and wah bam, loose. What do you think of all that ammo? We got all the ammo organized, okay? This is waterfowl, okay? So we got a blind bag. We've got some decoy rigs. We got Lucy's vest. We got a bunch of shell pouches, headlamps. We got the waiter straps. What else we got in here? That's patch stuff for your waiters and some hot hands. So it's not everything, obviously. We're still work, I mean, it's still a work in pro. We're chipping away at it. But then further down, we stuck all the deer stuff and then we still have to get the archery stuff going as far as hanging the bows. We gotta get a rack system. But all the archery stuff's down here. We basically unpacked, whoops. We unpacked everything from last year and then deer stuff. So we've got binos, spotting scopes. We have scent elimination stuff. This is like scrapes up, attractant. And we've got like some of this, the uh, windage stuff, some noise jammer, noise, that's it, nose jammer. And then a whole thing of orange. And then this is like gloves and hats and then a bunch of backpacks and fanny packs. So literally everything. If you wanna go deer hunting, you walk into here, you go duck hunting, you walk into there. And then we got some cooking stuff over here. We decided all the catch and cook stuff can go right here. So we've got some pots and pans and griddles and propane's gonna go here. This thing is still empty. So there's still plenty of space. We have yet to fill it up. And then we end up just taking all the big stuff. Like these are all the spinning wings for the ducks, all these bags. We're just gonna put here. So it's close to the waterfowl stuff, but it's over here. There's no point in putting in those racks. 
Um, we have dog training stuff we need to pack away as well. And then these are all the Guggen baits. Well, that'll go on the bait wall. But then fishing wise, we just started on the bass fishing. So we've got a bunch of scales, reels. There's also bug spray and sunscreen. And then this is where all the tackle is going to go. And then over here, we've got catfishing stuff. So we've got like rod holders, stuff like that. We've got a bunch of hooks, some line, some jugs set lines and all these bait buckets down here for live bait so that's going there and then i think this middle one's still empty holy smokes yeah these things hold an incredible you stuff you know i i veto that idea and here we got some trapping stuff like some dog proofs just for immediate ricky control and then over here's like you know fly spray for the animals if you see a wasp you can come in here more stuff if you want to lasso something you go for it uh, so heat lamps some more bug stuff and some extra feed troughs just extra miscellaneous feed stuff where if something breaks down by the animals you quickly can come up here and get it but as you tell us i would say we're not even 50 percent full on the lever racks and we've probably got 80 percent of the stuff put in them so i think there's going to be some extra space which is good and keep in mind we still have that whole loft up there for extra space but now we're going to shift our gears from like here's all the bows we got to get hung up in there once we can figure out how to hang them up essentially uh, but over here we're going to start on getting more of the building stuff tools hammers nail well, not hammers but nails screws caulk tape you name it and then like i said all the cleaning the oils and stuff so like i said the lever rack boys are here they are unloading it as we speak we're going to put two of them together here get them loaded try to get everything off the floor that's the goal stay tuned Look, we even got lever. He even gave us one of these bad sons of guns. It's on casters too, so you can just wheel it around. That's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's got to be the coolest thing. So we're thinking about getting some for the warehouse too. I feel like this would be a good like pick pack and ship height. Oh, yeah, you just wheel it. Then banjo's back isn't blown yeah, out. I don't have to walk anywhere. That's fine. So give you guys. I, I we kind of. I think we gave you guys an update. I mean, ammunition. You guys already seen a lot of this stuff. Most of what you just saw was over here. But you see, it's dusty. We just got the broom out, and uh, this thing, this floor needs a, a well. It needs a wash. We're almost. We're almost there. We're almost to wash level. We just have a few more things to take care of. But what you guys saw is the two lever racks that we put together, uh, and then this corner right here. So as you can see, we have all of our lawn and garden stuff. Big garden guy here, okay? So we got all the stuff here for lawn and garden. You got your fertilizer, your crabgrass killer. You got your seeds, okay? We had this workbench from the previous house. We just set it here for staging. We've got some chainsaws, some weed whacker stringer right there. Another leaf blower. You know, just the odds and the ends. And then over here, we got our cleaners. If you need to clean anything, call me. I've got every type of cleaner you could want. You get a flat tire, got patch kits and slime. You need to wash your car. I got the whole kit right here. I got every single type of lubricant, starting fluid, bar chain oil, hydraulic oil, grease gun you could think of. All right here, ready to rock and roll. In this lab rack right over here, we've got all the stuff to kill the grass. So not kill the grass, but we've got crabgrass killer, weed killer. You got some of that barrier vegetation killer and then you've got some de thatcher uh let's see fertilizer okay so more lawn and then all the spreaders the hand spreaders are right there and then all this little sprinklers stuff keeping up with lawns is a lot boys I'll tell you what and over here a bunch of wa i mean this whole thing there's like 27 of these wasp we, we literally killed four today while we were doing this they're just nuts we got m mice uh poison lucy lucy what are you licking we got mouse poison bug barrier okay and we got some spray here ladybug killer okay i hate those suckers tell you what uh more insect killer i mean there's like literally jugs jugs of this stuff so that's in this lev rack and then we went ahead 
and put this as our little grabbing shelf. Come in, you maybe grab a pair of boots, some nice Crocs. If it's cold outside, you got your warm gloves, you got your work gloves, you got your rubber gloves, some extra rubber gloves. If you need a tote, you got extra totes right there. Easy access, okay? And then this, this was the second lever rack that we just put together today. This has all the nuts and bolts. It has everything you need. If you wanna build a house, you walk in here. Get yourself some self tappers, get yourself some hose clamps, cable fittings, plastic hardware, furniture hardware, door hardware, any type of hardware you want. You got all these down here too. You got screws, nuts, bolts, ledger, carriage, rivets, battery parts, I mean, every screw you could think of, okay? Then over here, garden hose supplies, sandpaper, cables, wires, propane fitting, rope, okay? We got all these, cable ties, cable ties, cable ties, lots of cable ties. Whole thing of glue and a bunch of tape. Yeah, lots of stuff. Now, through this deal here, we got hella paint. Paint cans, paint cans, flex, cock, painting stuff, okay? If you wanna carry some drywall, we got carriers, painting supplies, okay? And then over here, electrical looks like. Yep, electrical, electrical, electrical. And that's plumbing. That's like your soldering stuff, I think. Uh, and then some painting tarps and some tarps down there. More trailer, tester things. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you can tell we've remodeled several things and acquired all these. And then up top, that's the best part with these leverage. You put stuff on top. You can only put a four-wheeler up there. Like it's probably a smaller one that would fit, but it, it holds it. So we got air compressors up there, extra fans, lasers, uh, the a huge industrial paint sprayer up there. And then over here, we've got extra oil and cans and funnels and everything like that. And so we like so we got all this set up. Now you can actually see the floor, okay? So now what we just gotta do is finish that bathroom, which we will do. I don't know if you guys wanna see it, let me know. Otherwise, we can do it off camera, show you guys an update once it's done. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's got a washer dryer in it, so we're gonna have a pooper. It's got a catch clean coke station on the outside and a sink on the inside. It's gonna be sweet. So we're gonna have that going on over there, and that'll be, you know, and we got the loft done up, by the way. We didn't film any of that, but we got everything organized in the loft. We got all of the racking up there. It's all it's all organized. I'm soaked in sweat. It's like 112 degrees in here but we're like 98% there. Oh, and then we also, we didn't even show you this, we got batteries, okay, and then power washers, hoses. So if you need batteries, we got AAA, AA, CD, Dine Volt, special batteries, and dead ones. And then you've got some chargers, some jumper packs, some jumper packs, more chargers, maintainers, and some deep cycle batteries, okay? You got two power washers in case you wanna get some washing done. You got your hoses up here, and then we got a bunch of other battery stuff right here. And then we hung up some ladders as well. And this is where some of the bigger stuff goes. So you've got your oxycetylene, you've got your uh, shop vac, you got your chop saw, you got a couple ladders. Really? There it is. Banjo scaling it. So, and then we hung some decoy. We did it all, boys. We got everything done, did the way we needed done to do it today. It's as clean as it's gonna get for a while. We have some stuff to take to the warehouse, some stuff to take to the house. This whole thing needs power wash. But we figured we'd, we'd document it going from, it looks like you guys saw at the beginning of the video, it looked like a bomb went off and it looks like a, it looks like a grenade went off now. Not a bomb, we're at grenade level and that's acceptable. I'm always about the grenades, so. Lucy, what do you think? Lucy, you good with the grenade? She likes it in here. Lucy's about it. Lucy's hanging out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed these kinds of videos, let us know. You know, just kind of like the manly stuff. Getting the shop done, did up, okay? Getting the tools together. Getting all the good stuff going. I don't know. I feel like some of you guys might like some of you guys. Like, Flair, you just need to go fishing and pet Ralph. We don't want to see this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. We catch you next time. And peace.